The current outlook for surveying in Australia uh, is is pretty good. There's lots of opportunities for the guys in the industry. Um, there's obviously a bit of a, a shortage around um, registered type surveyors, so there's there's room for people to grow there. But there's also uh, a lot to do with emerging technologies. Um, you know, taking control of, of projects and doing things a different way. Uh, yeah, surveyors are still relevant on on every project we have. Uh, the skills that they have grown over the years um, through their studies, through on the job experience, different projects, um, specifically around the cadastral integrity. So all of our boundary redefinitions are all done by surveyors. Um, there's no one else in um, the industries, there's no you know, lawyers, solicitors, no one can really do that, no one in construction can do it, so definitely a, a specialised skill set. Uh, they're also required from the very first day of the project all the way through the last day with, with all the boundary work that's done, uh, all the legal things and also construction certificates and sign-offs. So definitely, definitely still very relevant today. The knock-on effect of uh, the shortage of surveyors uh, in the industry um, makes a lot of the contractors now have to go and uh, investigate their own um, spatial technologies to complete their work. So whether that's a set out on, uh, on a deck on a high rise or a conformance survey um, of trenches and stuff on civil works. Uh, they'll, they'll need to be doing that in place of the surveyors if they're not able to get to site. Some projects uh, will still be held up depending on the skill set required. Some surveyors are just required for those jobs. Those jobs being put on hold, uh, you know, makes the work stop, people don't get paid. The flow on effect of that is, is um, just slowing up the projects and, and all the costs associated with that.